Pongamia trees grow where citrus once flourished, offering renewable energy and plant-based protein. Associated Press An ancient tree from India is now thriving in groves where citrus trees once flourished in Florida and could help provide the nation with renewable energy. As large parts of the Sunshine State's once famous citrus industry have all but dried up over the paw. Saint two decades because of two fatal diseases, greening and citrus canker, some farmers are turning tea. Oh the Pongamia tree, a climate-resilient tree with the potential to produce plant-based proteins and a sustainable biofuel. For years, Pongam. Below are your comments. One acre of trees produces the same amount of oil as four acres of soybeans. No mention of how long it takes the trees to get into full production, maturity. If it takes 10 years then soybeans are still ahead in productivity. Kudzu, Bradford pear, English ivy, lionfish, tilapia, Burmese pythons and Asian carp were once one. RFUL things too. Maybe we could just take another look at native species before importing more potential invaders. It's not a native tree to the U.S. at all, what could go wrong? Anyone's guess at the numbers of birds, insects, wildlife, plants and numerous other things we are cur. Rently trying to eliminate because they are not native. For those who are concerned about this tree being a non-native species. The apple is native to Central Asia. It was introduced to North America by European settlers. The question is, is it invasive? This shows what can happen when you rely on a monoculture agricultural product. One or two diseases can whip out the entire product like these two did with citrus. Fortunately, we can live without citrus production. Wheat, corn and soybeans would be a completely different thing. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.